Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at Super Mario RPG for the Nintendo Switch. Unlike the last Mario game I looked at, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, this is a remake. Um, Wonder was brand new and won me over with how different and how creative it was. This one, I'm kind of hoping will be very similar to the way it originally panned out. Uh, this is a remake of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which was a game released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1996. Uh, the reason it's called Super Mario RPG is kind of because it's the first Mario RPG. Um, like, like, later we got Paper Mario and then Mario and Luigi on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, and there have been, you know, a couple of different ones. Uh, this was first, um, and it was actually made by Square, like the people who make Final Fantasy. So it is a lot like one of their games, but it also has a lot of the seeds of what you would end up seeing as hallmarks of Mario RPG. Stuff like uh, stuff like being able to jump outside of battle in order to platform around and uh, having action commands during battle so you have to time your attacks and things like that. Um, started in this game. <laughs> And I'm going to see how much I like this version of it. Uh, this game was, it's kind of personally important to me as well as being, you know, the origin of a really cool series of RPGs. Because, uh, you know, I think I've mentioned before when I was a kid we had a Super Nintendo, uh, but it didn't, like, work properly. We never got it hooked up to the TV correctly, so when you, like, were playing games they would show up in sepia, and I assumed that was what the SNES was supposed to look like for a long time. But when I was a little bit older, um, I discovered ZSNES, uh, the emulator, and I got, like, a big pack of, like, every Mario game uh, that had ever been made for this platform. And there were, like, I think ROM hacks and all sorts of weird bits and pieces I'd just never heard of. And in there was one called Super Mario RPG. And when I played this game, I thought this was some sort of, like, concepts demo sort of thing that maybe, like, a fan had made. Uh, you, you'll see why uh, when I start playing it. It's the first little bit sort of feels like you're playing some sort of tech demo, and then it shows a title screen, and I thought, oh, oh, that's the end. But, but then the game kept going, <laughs> and there's, like, a whole story, and there's all these characters and beautiful music, and it's super-duper fun to play, and... Yeah, um... I really loved this one. Uh, I ended up like picking it up on Wii Virtual Console, I think, because I just wanted to play more of it and play it for real. <laughs> um, and yeah, I I think like some of the ideas in here were executed better in later games, like Paper Mario. Uh, for example, this works like a Final Fantasy game in terms of uh, numbers and stuff, like, you get the whole, uh, HP damage inflation sort of thing you would see in a game like, like Final Fantasy, like, 5 or 6, which I think were around that time. Uh, whereas in Paper Mario, damage sort of caps out at, like, 10. Uh, it's a very small numbers kind of game, which makes it very, like, parsable with your brain very easily, which is cool. Um... They may have fiddled with that, I don't know. Uh, they may also have left that exactly the way it is, so we'll see. Um, I made a second profile on here, uh, because a friend wanted to play through Wonder, uh, with me. And we had a good time, the co-op in that game is excellent. Um, I don't really know where my face should be, I do know there's a loading on that side, so I'll put my face over here, but we'll see. Super Mario RPG. Under my face, it says copyright Nintendo slash Square Enix. Characters copyright Nintendo, copyright Square Enix. Yeah, Square um, and Enix were, I think, competitors uh, that, like, got acquired or something, and then there was, they've been one company since then. But back, in, back then, it was just Square making this game. Uh, there's an intro exactly like this in the original, uh, except it's not 3D models, of course. It's like, little sprites doing this basically the same scene, same music. It looks a lot less impressive in the original game, but... This is very accurate to the SNES original, which I think is pretty cool. Um... Huh, they put an easy mode in the game. I guess I'll pick normal? 
I also already consider this a relatively easy RPG, so I'm not sure what they've done with the two modes there. Oh yeah, when you start the game, you see this cutscene again, even though you just saw it. <laughs> I think maybe in the original, it only played this if you start to on the title screen, otherwise you just went straight to the next bit. I can't remember. I haven't, I haven't played it in a long time. But that does feel, this, that little cutscene does feel accurate. Uh, and then this bit, we go to Bowser's Castle. Oh yeah, the game uses like an isometric point of view. Um... It's very idiosyncratic for doing that, uh, when you're playing with like a regular SNES controller that has up, down, left, right. It, it kind of doesn't mesh super well with the way the game's actually laid out. Uh, we'll see how it goes in this one, it might be better. Uh, this scene is essentially the same as the original, it just, you know, looks a bit, a bit fancier. Okay. Okay, so you still move in the same sort of directions, but of course you have an analog stick now, so you can easily move diagonally without having to do that, pressing two directions. Jump with B. Uh, y button is now something different. Hmm. Okay, in the original, holding Y was how you ran, but I think you just always run now, because I seem to be going relatively fast. Oh yeah, I can hold a button to go slower. That's ZL I'm holding right now. Okay. Or well, ZR works too. All the shoulder buttons do that. Kind of weird. Okay. But yeah, in the original it was, you jump with the Y button was the run button. You held that down most of the time because you wanted to run. Uh, and then you pressed X to bring up the whole menu with everything on it. But I'm just getting like a partial menu here. I'm guessing, yeah, I pressed plus to get this menu. Which didn't do anything in the original game. I mean, it was plus, it was start, but it didn't do anything in the original game. Uh, let's go forward. So yeah, um, this intro is more or less the same as the original, and I did think that I wasn't playing a real Mario game at this point. <laughs> I, I did think this was some sort of tech demo <laughs> that some, some fan had made. Mario punches at the beginning of the game, so like, it's a bit strange. Interesting animations. That's roughly the same as an- oh, experience? Okay. Uh, in this part of the game, originally, you would not get experience or coins. Which is why I was just dodging enemies, but I do want experience, so I would probably be fighting enemies. Okay. I'm pressing Y on muscle memory, <laughs> because that's the run button. <laughs> don't really need to hit the action command, as you can see. I do enough damage anyway. But yeah, in the original, that like little pop-up with the XP and coins did not show up during this early segment of the game. You just sort of went back out, out of the battle without any fanfare. I think it also didn't... Yeah, it's still, it's still not doing that. The music isn't changing when you start a battle. Ah, uh, then you get here. There's Peach. There's Bowser. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, pay yourself for the great beyond. Yep, that's the same as the original. Uh, so in this, this is a bit of a gimmick fight here. You can, I believe, attack Bowser, but you shouldn't. Uh, what you want to do... Oh, oh, I don't like that. Uh, in the original, you can see it says A, B, X, Y on these four directions. The way it would work is you press Y to open the special menu, and you press Y again to pick the special you want. Like, you keep pressing the same button, and if you press something else, it would go back. Here, it looks like you press Y, and then you have to press A to pick a special. I might be able to change that in the options, I'll have a look, but... I preferred the original way, where it was you press item, and then you press item again to pick an item. Uh... Anyway, what you're supposed to do here, I, I think you can hurt Bowser, but you can't defeat him. Like he's got too much health or something. Uh, what you're actually supposed to do is attack the chain back there. <laughs> I 
What was that sound? I can't do the voices. No! Oh. <laughs> the chain reaction. Hang in there, chandelier. Chandelier? Oh, okay. Holding on by the skin of your teeth. This character was called Kinklink in the original. Uh, I'm not sure why they changed it to Chain to Chandelier. Maybe they didn't like having Kink in there? I don't know. Come in, Mario. He throws a hammer. Oh no, my Chandelier. Fight, Mario. Fight. And Mario rolls around and all sorts of fun stuff happens. This should finish you. Another hammer. Ah! Okay, so this intro is more or less the same, except they renamed Kink Link. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was just going to give her to you. You're always in my way. This is it. I'm going to take you out, Mario. The fireworks are going to start. <laughs> Bunga, foiled again, crying, and then Mario just launches up incredibly high somehow. And <laughs> flaps his arms so he can reach. Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Eek. Mario, the whole castle is shaking. Uh, this cutscene then plays. Yeah, this is the same outline as in the original. That makes sense. Uh, I don't think you see the star that clearly at the beginning. Hmm. I think they've tweaked it just a little bit, but... That is roughly what happened. The big old sword stabbies down. Super Mario RPG. Oh, oh, the subtitle's actually gone. It's not called Legend of the Seven Stars in this in this one. And then that happens. That happened in the original too. There's Mario's pad underneath my face. I may need to move my face, we'll see. Hey Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came back to pick up Princess Peach since she's a bit late. What's she even doing here? There's one bed. Why, why would Peach be here? Oh no. <laughs> Jump. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna check the menus here and see if I can adjust controls a bit. Oh, I see. I can change it from walk to run by default. Battle controls. Okay, cool. Cool. This is the thing I was talking about. The default is here. Press A to confirm, B to go back. After opening the menus, press the same button again to confirm. This is how the original worked, and I liked this better. So I'm going to put it on type B. <laughs> um, yeah, difficulty. Breezy. Oh, I see. It's just breezy or normal. Oh, I like that. You can change the music so that it plays the original for most of the game. I'm going to leave it on modern just to hear what they've done with it, because I'm curious. General monster list? This is new. This was not in the original. I can, I can get them to do stuff. That's cute. Uh, we don't know what they're weak to. Wait, are we going to fill in those weak statuses? Is this, did they do an Octopath Traveler thing where like, you've got the question mark weaknesses? Because that would be extremely cool. Okay, so we get a sneak preview of the specials we're going to learn. I don't think the original did this. Like, you did learn specials at these levels, but it didn't tell you what was coming up like this, from what I recall. Um, I'm also curious if jump's power is going to increase when I jump on stuff. In the original game, there was a counter of how many times you'd use jump. And, like, throughout the whole game, I mean. And when it hit 255, that was the maximum. And the number of times you'd use jump made it stronger and stronger in terms of attack power. And it was like the only move that worked that way, which was interesting. Uh, I have nothing I can equip right now, that looks normal. 
It sounds like Action Gauge Up is a new thing. I don't... Oh, that wasn't in the original, so I guess we'll see what that's about. <laughs> Only three save slots. He had four in the original. That's a huge blunder. Uh, also, I didn't put a name on my save file. It asks you to name the file in the original. I would just put Mario because I was playing as Mario. Uh, but yeah, in this game, I can do that, I guess. Hey, Toad. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So, where is she? Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? There don't seem to be any noises when people are talking. Like, um, this game was pretty quiet about it. It just had, um, like a, a little chirp when you went to the next page of text or whatever. Uh, but it's not, it's not doing that at all in this version. Mario, I forgot something important. If you get knocked out, you wake up at the last place you saved. But guess what? On this adventure, you'll save automatically whenever you go between areas. You'll save all the time, so if worse comes to worse, you won't lose too much. Progress, am I right? Okay, so the original game didn't have autosave. You had to use the save block. Let's hop on this thing to save. It's like the good old days. Use them however you like. It's a great thing to break through adventure. It's everything important I can think of. I get yourself to Bowser's Keep. <laughs> I think not being able to jump on these is normal. And that was how it was in the original. Uh, this building was called Pipe House in the original, rather than just Mario House. So, uh... You can't, you can't, you can't do Pipe House in, uh, in 20, 2023 because of Woke. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess it is Mario's house, so putting Mario House on it makes sense, but it, it's a bit of a strange change. Ah, yes, the world map. Uh, this is pretty much the same as it was in the other game, except uh, there's water around it. In the original game, it would show, like, the island you're on, on, like, a, just a black background. So this chunk we were floating on right now would just be floating in a void. Uh, having water down there makes more sense, really. <laughs> Let's go to Bowser's Keep. Uh, the flag on the keep, I think, is, like, go here next. The original game didn't have that. Oh, yeah, there's a sword up there now. Hello. Halt. Who goes there? A trespasser? This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. We have big plans, and this is the first step in it. If it weren't for nosy characters like you, we practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. Bridge is gone. Okay, so that's pretty much the same as the original. I think Axel maybe made a noise when he was jumping to make the bridge fall, but apart from that. Go back to Mario's pad and let little Toad know that we, uh, we fucked up. You're back so soon, did you forget something? No? What happened then? <laughs> oh, right. Uh... This was a big part of this game, because Mario never speaks. Uh, you know, he's like a silent protagonist, even though in later games, like Mario 64, he goes wahoo and stuff all the time. In this game, he's a silent protagonist. And when he needs people to know things, rather than just assuming he said them, which is what a lot of RPGs do, he pantomimes. <laughs> so sometimes he just sort of levitates, and other times he randomly, like, somehow looks turns into the appearance of another character and stuff like that to express what he's saying better. Um, it's extremely charming. <laughs> the bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now. Just wonderful. Just inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. <laughs> what I recall, this is the correct music for this area. There we go. Saving is a little bit slower, but it auto-saves, so it probably doesn't matter. You didn't have to pick overwrite in the original. Oop! Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items would have perk you right up. But a mushroom. 
If you want to use an item, get some HP back. Press X. Eating a mushroom gives you a boost when you're feeling tired. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Fuck, I remember. I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. It's barely made it back here in one place. Please, Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you have about action commands? Oh no, they're called action commands. The original version of this game, they were called timed hits. Um, I'm gonna say yes, because I want to see if this line is the same. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about action commands. He's gonna punch your lights out. <laughs> yes, it's the same. I mean, it was timed hits in the original, but... Yeah, if you say you already know, then rather than getting a tutorial, uh, Toad just scares off the Goomba by saying, <laughs> Watch out, you know action commands. <laughs> it's extremely funny. <laughs> He's got more bark than bite, huh? Ah, uh, now what did I rush back? I had something to tell you. That's right, let me tell the Chancellor about Peach. See you over at the Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. The three mushrooms. Okay, so we did take one damage from being hit just then, uh, but using a mushroom would be a waste because they recover 30 HP and we have 19 out of 20. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go without for now. <laughs> Hmm, the little flags are nice. Uh, I don't seem to be able to open the menu. That's not new. The original game didn't let you menu on the screen either. One thing I am curious about is whether, um, first strikes are a thing. They weren't in the original game, but they have been in Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi. Oh, this music is the- it's the music. This is the battle music from this game. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. So I, had a, I did a little splash damage to the other enemy when I hit, when I timed hit this one. That's new. That does not happen in the original. Yeah, I'm curious if I can jump on an enemy to start battle. Uh, I can, but it doesn't do anything. It's just like the original. I haven't got a good sense of the timing yet. I'm used to how it worked in the original, which was different. Oh, HP Max Flower. Very nice. I keep missing my time kit, so I need to get a bit of practice in. Hmm. I probably should have taken the other tutorial, I just wanted to know what they did with the he knows about time kits line. Maybe I need to press the button when the exclamation mark comes up rather than when the attack seems to be Hmm. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I may need to get some practice in. Oh, you get a little tooltip letting you know what to do. Yeah, auto save. Can I get uh, like a time hits explanation or something from the menus, or did I mess it up? <laughs> Let's see, help. Uh, yeah, battle. the right timing. What is the timing? Okay, so the exclamation mark is, I think, when I'm supposed to press it, based on that explanation. Yeah, that worked better. Okay. Oh, very good. Oh, it's a little bit earlier than it was in the original. Also, that boost gauge thing, uh, which my face is covering, I think, it's completely new, so... Let me see if my face is covering it, hang on. My face is covering it. I'm gonna move my face. I'm gonna put it up here. Yeah, this, this gauge was not in the original, so I don't know what that's gonna do yet. Probably some sort of, like, uh, limit break kind of thing.
<laughs> yeah, the timing is a bit earlier than I'm used to. Oh, interesting. It tells you enemies are low in health. I don't think the original did that. Like, unless you've scanned them to find how much health they have, which is the thing you could do. Nice. <laughs> Seems like I'm getting some sort of stylish kind of thing by chaining my attacks together. It says six chain. That was not a thing in the original. Level 2. That's 3 points. Uh, that's 2 points. And that's... 4 points, I think? Yeah. This is how the leveling up works in this game. You get a small bonus to everything, uh, and then you can pick one of your 3 stats to give a little bit of an extra boost. Um, that gives you 2 more, that gives you 3, and that gives you 4, so I want magic. And it's not like random or anything, each character has pre predefined levels at which you should be picking a certain stat to get the biggest boost. I don't know if they've changed the exact stats because I haven't memorized it, but I can look up a chart. <laughs> Yeah, the pattern is the same because magic was the best pick here, and at level 2, magic is the best pick. So yeah, Mushroom Way is pretty easy, it's basically a tutorial of sorts. Um, you, the toad that we've been hanging out with will show up several times being captured by monsters, and we can help them. We don't have to, uh, but we get some prizes for doing it that are worth getting, so. Oh, and it's not showing the little exclamation mark now, because it assumes I know the timing. Okay. At least it, it's, it knows I know the timing, because I've been doing the timing. I like that. The light is flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Got a honey syrup. Honey syrup is, um, recovering special power, basically. Um, there are some other items I think you can get from Toad by doing this. I think you can get a flower tab, which is something that you really, really want to have. Uh, I'll explain them once we get some. <laughs> Experience, my gauge is full now, but I don't know what it does. Flower tab, okay. Flower items will permanently increase your max FP, letting you use more special, which is super important, so don't forget them. Okay, so the way flower points work in this game, you can see it says I have 10 flower points, and they're not in the same box as Mario's health. Uh, flower points is one big pool that every character shares, and you get items called things like flower tab, flower box, I think, and there's another one, but I've forgotten what it is. A couple of, there's a few different items you can find, and when you use them, it increases your maximum FP, uh, and that's the only way to increase it. You don't get it. You don't get FP boosts from level up. So you want to find flower tabs and flower boxes and flower. They get what the one that gives you three points is, but flower box is five. So yeah, you just do that, and now we have an extra flower point. And yeah, we want to keep our eyes peeled for that sort of thing. We also want to fight as much as we can. 
I don't know if the gauge even does yet. Oh, I missed. There we go. I might try the gauge when we get to the boss at the end of this area. They're pretty easy, but they're probably even easier if you have, like, a super move you've got charged up. <laughs> Uh, enemies like randomly dropping HP max flowers and stuff like that was a thing in the original. Uh, the boost gauge is new, so the one where they give you boost is new as well, but... I assume all the others are still here. There was one called uh, Lucky, which means after the battle you get a 50-50 chance to double your experience or coins. Uh, and there was another one, I think FP max is one as well, and there's one called Go Again, where you just get another turn, I think. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, that was just a flower. So now we have a max of 12. Uh, it, unlike the flower tab, it didn't fill up our 1. Uh, so it's 11 out of 12 now, but our max is still higher, which is what we want. Pick me up. Uh, that is a phoenix down. <laughs> which, if you're not familiar with Final Fantasy items, is the one that resurrects like a, a downed party member. This is much faster with this, like, splash damage I'm getting, because the original game Mario does not do that when he punches stuff. Mushroom. You okay, Toad? Oh, yeah, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. Another flower tab, awesome. But you can see why it would be worth doing, because you get these items, like flower tabs, which gives you like a permanent increase to your power. Uh, I believe that mushroom I just got, uh, yeah. That when you get a mushroom out of a chest like that, it basically just tilts you to fall. Uh, it's kind of like a heart block in Paper Mario. But it's single use, unlike the heart blocks in Paper Mario, so it's not as good. <laughs> oh, it's back, you guys. Hello. Your design looks a little bit different than I remember. I haven't worked out the timing on that one. I believe jumping on spiky enemies is dangerous, uh, as it is in most Mario games. Uh, but in this one you can just punch, so you don't necessarily need to jump on spiky enemies. Hey, yeah, I've got the timing down now. It just took a little to get used to. Not quite the same as the original game. <sighs> Keep pressing Y to run, but it's how you open special ones with the specials menu now. I'm guessing that's for like healing. Um, some of the specials you'll get later are like spells that give you healing. We don't have one yet because Mario doesn't get one, but uh, some of the other characters do. Come to think of it, I wonder if they'll call um, Princess Peach Princess Peach in this game, or if they call her Toadstool. Because in the original version of this game, she was called Toadstool. That was the character's name. Because the game that sort of solidified the idea that she's called Peach was Mario 64, which came out after this game. I basically want to get to level 3 before I face the boss. Um, it was just ahead. 
There we go. So one more, maybe two? Yeah, that's the boss. Oh, the hammer bros look different. Hey, you're looking at me, my hammer and I don't like ya. Well, you better be careful, he's definitely got a mean streak. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> this is pretty much identical to the original, by the way, that's, that's exactly what happened. Including the part where I just leave and go grind. Uh, one more experience point. Okay. I don't think I can fight that Lakitu. I can't gain enough height to activate a combat with them because they're in midair. They're a little annoying. But I would like to fight them. Level up! Okay, so now we're getting to level 3. So we want level 3 boost, which will be attack. And I learned Fireball! Uh, attack 3 points. Uh, that's 2 points. And that's 2 points, so yeah. So, hang on. 6, 7, 8. That is 3 points. That's 3 points. Uh, and that's 2 points. So these two are actually the same, but you do want to go for attack. Overall, we'll be getting an HP boost next level. Uh, and that healed me to full, so I'm probably equipped for this fight now. I got my hammer angry. Shouldn't have done that. Because you actually fight two hammer bros, uh, even though you only see one before the fight starts. Um, I want to see what the gauge does. Gauge move, toad assist. Okay, I'm going to move my face one more time. Uh, over here is probably better. Toad comes running to support you, who knows what you might get. I guess I'll find out, because I've got no idea what'll happen. <laughs> oh, I see. I get like a random item or something? Stargust. Damn, that was really good. <laughs> so broken. <laughs> oh, wow. It's battle. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's supposed to be the first boss battle, and it is a little bit hard. Uh, you attack one helmet, hammer bro, like, you focus them down, uh, and when you defeat that one, the other one, like, buffs themselves up, they get more attack and defense. It makes it a little bit harder, um, and then you have to, like, whittle that one down, and you're usually out of flowers by then, so you have to use more basic attacks, and it's kind of hard at this level in the game, but... If you just summon Stargust and just vaporize them, you, you, you're fine. <laughs> Flower Jar, that's it. That's the one that gives you three. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Watching Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where'd this hammer come from? Hey, do you know what this is? Has the hammer's insignia on it? No one stands a chance against you when you want them with this. Never know, might come in handy. Picked up a hammer. Let's get a mover. See you in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so the hammer is not an items item. The hammer is our first piece of equipment. And uh, you can see it makes our attack quite a bit better. Uh, but when you change weapons, uh, your attack animation changes, so the timing changes. Uh, since you're not punching anymore, you're whacking with a hammer. So we'll have to figure out how to do it with a different weapon. Mushroom Kingdom. I haven't seen Princess Peach lately. What? Bowser's got her again? Oh, these designs are so cute. Hey Mario, look what you're standing in. Ha, gotcha. Hang on, does it need me to jump to do that? Sure does. Look, I'm... It's waiting for me to jump. The original did this too. This one character pranks you by saying you're standing in something when you're not. Hey, did you see? Did you just see a crocodile around here? It looks like a mobster want to be. Sure, he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec, my wallet's gone. Hey, your name's Gaz, right? 
Mario had a great sidekick for a few years, right? So what we found the shows up, and he's had to get his go. Oh, you're not, sorry, you're not, guys. Gazelle's in Rose Town. I think they're on character. Hello. And my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. I'm liking these toad designs. Um, like they're wearing different things, and they look kind of different. Uh, a couple of them look the same, like these two, these two blue ones here, but. Like, the original did that, and it wasn't too big a deal, because there were enough different designs that it didn't feel samey. Uh, and a lot of towns don't have toads in them. It's just this is the first one, and it happens, happens to have toads in. Uh, so this little mushroom spinny thing means an item shop. Uh, we don't really need any items, but yep, we need items, we can go there. And this uh, star means an inn. Um, we want to go to the inn because... Oh, hang on. Maybe it's not the inn. Maybe it is the item shop. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> One of these places, I think it might be basement of the ice and item shop. Yeah, here we go. We've got what for. I order you to stand before me. Okay. I order you to stand before me. Now I order you to jump. In this world, there are these things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. This should help too. What a signal ring. Don't forget to equip it if you continue with hidden treasures. They can run what you know about the hidden treasure near you. It has no effect on not equipped. Huh. So, um, this person is in the original game and tells you to find this hidden treasure and tells you to use your awesome jumping ability. They don't give you a signal ring. That's new. Uh, the signal ring was in the game, but you didn't get it that easily. Uh, I'm gonna equip it. And I'm gonna equip my hammer as well. Uh... Is there? Hmm... Is it just the one I already got, or is there another one? I don't know if it means there's another one, or if it's counting the one that I already got. Maybe if I jump on your head? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off there this minute. <laughs> okay, you can bounce on the beds. Can I keep bouncing? Yes, let's go. So you can stay at an inn uh, to heal, and it does cost money to do. Uh, you can also just go back to Mario's Pad and heal for free, so... I don't know if they've, gonna, if they've tweaked that so that you can't do that, or if they've made it easier to do that in this version, so it's less of a pain to go back there. We'll see, I suppose. Nice. Oh yeah, we want to use the uh, flower tab we've already got, and the flower jar, so that we have a nice high maximum. There we go. Listen, you'd be hiding too if you had a run with that crocodile creep. Oh, I talk to you. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. One, two, three. You think I practice hard enough? I'll jump as high as you, Mario. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Mario, there you are. Full of chance while you're here. Wipe you down the hallway. Uh, so this code is the only way to reach this hidden treasure. Um. <laughs> It's much harder in the original game. You can see I did it just, like, right away there. But in the original game, I would chuck down a save state before doing this, because this is so easy to miss. Um, like, it's a frog coin. You can get infinite frog coins by doing certain things, but it's not super easy. Uh, if you can just come here and just, just get a frog coin, that is better. <laughs> That's the Chancellor. 
Ah, Mario has arrived. Hey, hey, wrong way. I'm not sure if they did that in the original, if they just started the cut thing and she went that way. Mario, thank goodness you're here. I heard an explosion or something in Bowser's Keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me. Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. Yeah, the worst. Could Bowser somewhere behind this? Oh, is alive. You're telling us that Bowser abducted the princess again? Yeah, it might be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Peach. Gad, the keep is unassailable? What awful power is at work here? Mario, her life's in your hands. Please, save our dear princess. Hey, Mario. Making sure to equip the things you get, right? Shall I have to her to explain the process? No need at all. I'm good. Ah, that's our Mario for you. Completely well equipped for this task. You can buy armor and accessories and item shops. Now then, take care. Mario. Oh, this scene's a bit less funny in this version, in my opinion. In the original, um... After the Chancellor's talked to you and, like, says, okay, you can go, you have to start walking away, uh, like, with the controller. It doesn't automatically happen, and then you get interrupted and you fall down the stairs. Uh, forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the Princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The Vault Guard shall assist you. Okay, so the cellar just has a couple of basic things that we might want to have, but you can only access it a few times in the game. Mario, the Chancellor's told me, and the Vault is this way. Here's the bolt, let me show you around. Help yourself with treasures. This is a coin, the small one's worth 1 and the large one's worth 10. This one's a 10. This is a flower. These flowers from treasure chests work a little differently from the flower items. Treasure chest flowers increase your flower points as soon as you grab one, but you can't carry them with you. Flower tabs, on the other hand, you can take with you. Use those for next minute, it'll increase your FP. This is a mushroom, you know it by looking at it, huh? These mushrooms you get from treasure chests don't work quite like the mushroom items. Treasure chest mushrooms replenish both HP and FP when you open the chest, but you can't save them for later. Mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP, but you can take them with you to use whenever you want. And that's it. Go about flower points? Ahem, <laughs> very well. FP you can stream during battle when you use special moves. For example, a jump attack uses 3 FP. When you jump, your FP will decrease by 3 each time. Run out and you can't use those moves. An item called a flower raises your maximum FP. Cover FP with syrup, mushrooms from chests, and it ends. So yeah, um, the only thing there that's really important is that we got a flower, so we have a higher maximum uh, FP. Oh god, but not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. Princess hasn't returned yet. Imagine how the Chancellor must feel. Look at her bed, it's so pink! <laughs> Found Peach's question marks? Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange. Just leave everything where it was. Got a mushroom. Yeah, you can get something belonging to Peach and get it traded for a mushroom. No idea what it is. <laughs> okay, we're about done in here. Okay, it's weird that this isn't voice acted, given the way it's being presented. I really love Crocker's design, he looks great, and Mallow looks great, but having no one voiced in a cutscene that looks like this feels weird.
Oh, that reptile. Like the original version of this, the cutscene wasn't like this this sort of uh, FMV sort of thing. So it wasn't quite as weird that there was no voice acting. Also, it was on the SNES, but the way this is being presented, it feels like there should be voice acting. <laughs> But yeah, this same basic event happens where Mallow uh, gets his grandpa's coin stolen. Uh, and then he's very upset, so it starts raining for some reason. I don't know why crying would make it rain. That's very weird. Hello. Yes? You're soaking wet, aren't you? Alright now. Sorry, there's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? some reason Mario did the flop. <laughs> the grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, right, let's say you're going to take care of Bowser. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're the Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Headpole Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Help me catch that filthy thief. I'm a little busy. You sure you won't reconsider? Sorry. Oh, please, pretty please, no. Never thought you'd be so mean, Mario. You know I can't get my coin back without your help. All right already. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you! I wasn't sure if it would do something different, but... A young frog, Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. And our second party member! Graphic book is out on your journal. You can check it out to look at your wrench so far. Oh, okay, so it gives you a bit of a log of what you've been doing. Nice. Kind of giving you a bit of a reminder of what you've been up to. And what you should pro probably should be doing next. Which is good. Anyway, we have two party members. Check it out. Um, We're going to grab some equipment real quick from the item store. Because we're about to go and do a bit more of a quest. Hey Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Until you hear this, you see... Wait, I've already heard. The old frog sage told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Well, listen. The proof of the matter is, well, um, the coin was stolen. What? Well, that's the case. I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your team, we'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. Got to pick me up. Thanks. Now, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. What are you looking for? Uh, so we can buy uh, more more stuff, as you can see. Oh, interesting. In the original game, um, your inventory had like a, a fixed, like a flat limit of items, uh, which was I think 30, 30 items, something like that. Uh, and every item took up one slot, so you could have 30 mushrooms or 30. Uh, honey syrups, or you could have like, something sensible, like you could have eight mushrooms and eight syrups and three pick-me-ups or something like that. Looks like in this game, they've changed it so each item has a separate limit. So you can have ten of this, ten of this, six of this, ten of this. Okay. Curtain pants. <laughs> These descriptions have not changed. Shirt. It's a shirt. <laughs> pants. It's a pair of pants. Uh, yes, I do want to buy that. And I want to buy that. Amusingly, uh, the shirt and pants are for different characters. Mario wears shirts, and Mello wears pants. Um, I do want a jump shoes. I'll equip that, because um, we're about to go to an area with more spiky enemies, and I want Mario to be able to jump on them. Uh, the antidote pin I'm going to have, uh, but I'm not going to equip that. I'm going to give Mallow the signal ring, because I don't want to miss anything. Uh, and we're not going to be worrying about poison right now. Ignoring. There we go. Uh, cool. So Mario is now equipped. Mallow is, doesn't have a weapon yet. We won't get a weapon that works for Mallow for quite a while. Uh, a little bit annoying. Alright. Um, Mallow started at level 2, I think? 
Yes. Uh, and you can see, rather than having jump and fireball, he's got thunderbolt. Uh, which is our first, like, area area attack. It hits all enemies, which is pretty great. Uh, and Thought Peak, uh, which lets you know how much HP an enemy has, and if you time the hit right, you get, like, a thought. Like, each character has a written dialogue line that sort of usually hints about how to fight them, or is something funny. Uh, in the original game, this, this move was called Psychopath. I get why they changed it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That is an improvement. Hello. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? He looked something like this. Why, yes, exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. <laughs> Come back here. Ha uh, you mugs will never catch me. A snail could outrun you morons. Later. I don't know how to do a monster voice, but I'm trying. Oh, Mario's so dizzy. But th that's him! Hurry, Mario, let's get him! Mario, you might want to take this. Got a map. Click map from the menu, you can pick a location to jump to, as long as it's somewhere you've been before. Oh, okay. So, the original game did give you a map. I think the Chancellor gave it to you in the previous scene. Uh, but the map did not work for fast travel. It literally just told you what places existed. So, uh, we can just do that and just jump to Mario's pad immediately. That's nice. That is a new feature. Okay, let's have a nap. <laughs> That's how you sleep. You just flop on the bed. Considering that Mallow is here now, I'm really wondering where he was sleeping, because there is only one bed here. Uh, and, like, it's kind of a bit wider than Mario, but it's not that much wider. I don't think it's enough room for two people. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's head to Bandit's Way. Right about an hour. I want to play a little bit longer, because this is an RPG, and I feel like they do take a bit of time to sort of hit their stride. We didn't even do the first boss, we, we skipped it with the gauge mechanic. <laughs> there he is, probably sashed it in that bag, let's nab him! You're trying to tail me? Go on home to mummy before you get hurt, kid! <laughs> FP is shared between the entire party, choose it to attack or recover. As you learn specials, think carefully about who's to use. Look at that big smile! <laughs> oh, adorable. Yeah, Mallow just punches for now if they need a weapon. Yeah, it looks like chaining my action commands is giving me like an overall boost to all of my damage. Which means if you action command well, you sort of skip the game. Even without the gauge part. It, that seems a bit broken. Uh, jump still says power 25, and I've done a couple more jumps, so it might just not be changing that number. I'm not sure. I'll keep my eyes peeled. That's why I've been jumping on enemies, by the way, to try to rack up those points. And just get my sense of how it works. Okay, it looks like you can press the Y button again. Uh, I wasn't sure, because the prompt does say hit A. Uh, whether it would let me hit Y again, but it looks like that does work. Uh, which is what you did in the original, so I'm glad that still works. Maybe that- maybe that doesn't work? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I just timed it badly there. I'm gonna keep trying, just if I can get sense. Yeah, I think that's the normal hit. That's not the special special hit. You might actually need to press A instead. Which is weird, because it, really any face button should work. Yeah, jumps power doesn't seem to be going up, so I assume it's not indicating the fact that I've used jumps. Hmm.
Quick. That is very convenient compared to the way the original game's map worked. <laughs> I got mixed up. Um... Okay, if it requires you to press A for special, then maybe changing it a battle type B doesn't make sense. Because, like, remember I did- I went- Early on, I went in here and toggled this over because you press Y and then you press Y again when the, when you're doing the action command. But if you have to press A, then that's just too confusing, and this would work better. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it like this for now and just just see if I can get a sense of whether I'm just hitting the timing wrong. I might be. No, I, th I think I think it requires you to use the A button instead, which is just that's, that doesn't make sense at all. And that didn't hit either. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Because <laughs> yeah, my my instinct is if you're pressing the Y button to use the attack, which is what I'm doing, because I set it to type B like the original game. Then you should press the Y button again for the action command, and you, you can't. It doesn't work. You have to press A, uh, which is just confusing. It's on the opposite side of the controller. Stronger than usual enemies. Oh, a spiky special enemy. Fine. Okay, that still didn't hit. Did I miss something up? Cool, a frog coin. Not that. Hmm. Oh, we're out of Athena. Okay. Yeah, the hammer special is just hit him twice, it's pretty fun. <laughs> pretty easy to use, too. I am liking the splash damage thing, that's cool. What I'm not liking is that it looks like you have to use the wrong button for the action commands, which is just weird to me. <laughs> Look at Mario's little dance! <laughs> Oh, that is charming. <laughs> HP renewal, always good. Uh, we're at level 3 right now, so we want to make our attack better, which is this one. See, that's 4 points. That's 4 points. That's 2 points. Four plus six, yeah. <laughs> right, so now we can press Y to use HP rain in order to heal ourselves. Okay. Hang on, let me just try the fireball. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid, so I guess it's goodbye. I'm trying so hard, but I, I can't do the voice. Hidden treasure nearby. Oh yeah, this is kind of annoying. Treasure over here somewhere? Well, no, this one. I assume nearby just means somewhere on this like screen before I go through a door. I'm not sure. I do remember there's a superstar you can get somewhere around here, but it might not be the exact spot. I want the 
Well, this is the set, so the hidden treasure. And we have the hidden treasure. Maybe it's an extra I'm thinking of. Oh, you're a persistent pest, but I'm a hundred miles ahead of ya. Pretty sure you can't actually catch Crocker on the screen, you just sort of keep going. Special enemies thing is new, but I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. A mushroom. Another mushroom from that. Okay, some spiky enemies here. I'm gonna try using Fireball on the Frog Hog. See if the Y button is working. Okay, it is working. I, I just, I think I was just messing it up. I was jumping at the wrong time or something. It says A, but I was mashing the Y button and it still works, so. They're probably all good. <laughs> probably just any face button will work. level up. Uh, we want health this time. <laughs> Look at the little dance. In the original game, you didn't see the other characters when they were leveling up on this screen. It was just the person who got the level. Uh, this is better. <laughs> okay, this is the room I was thinking of. That chest has a superstar in it. Give it up already. Treasure box is tempting, but now is not the time. Yeah, with, when you get a superstar in this game, it's in the overworld, and uh, you just kick away enemies just like that. Um, and it's worth doing because you're getting experience for each enemy you defeat with a superstar. Um, it wasn't quite enough to level me up, but if it had been, like, the level up thing would pop up just after the star had worn off. I assume if I bring up my menu now and have a little look, my party are closer to leveling than they were. Can I check that? 
can't, I can't see that information. Oh, there we go. Uh, 29, 8. Yeah, Mallow is about to level up again. I forget what this one is. Is this one a frog coin or something? Flower. Eh, that's good to have. Get in. They won't give up. We'll just have to hide. Okay, so this is the room where we actually fight Croco. Um, trying to hiding. See if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. Got to catch him a couple of times and then the actual boss battle will start. Uh, and there's also some other enemies around here which we can use to just get a bit more experience. Okay, cool. You can use the Y button, I was just doing it at the wrong time. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. Um... I didn't get to see the secrets, just the weaknesses and stuff. I didn't time it right. A bit disappointing. I'll do it again, so we can see if we can read this Kimba's thoughts. Do that time? Goom da goom, I'm tired. Your eyes are much faster than your feet. It's gonna take you a hundred more years to catch me. You can catch him twice, I think, and then the third time he actually fights you. So I'm just gonna do it a few times as I'm running around. Bright sunlight, better not fry me. Okay, so you're weak to fight. <laughs> Interesting that it doesn't show a health bar when you've done that. Um, which is what tattling, the equivalent thing in um, Paper Mario would do. I feel like they've made perfect guarding a bit easier in this game. Compared to the original. That's when the like little force field appears in front of me. It means I've got the timing just right and so I take no damage. Okay, so the storage box is a new thing. I think you could check items in the original, but they weren't automatically sent there, you just didn't pick them up. Mario's doing the dance. Because Mal is level 4 now, that means we get more health. <laughs> Really, you only need to be high enough level for Fire Orb to work, which it does, so we can probably do the fight now. Alright, it's called Fireball in this game. It was called Fire Orb in the original. What's oh, so this fool's gonna chase down a pumpkin? Yeah, if you come in, like, towards his front, he'll go, like, you couldn't chase down a pumpkin. But you come in from behind and you get this. 
50 more years to catch me. You again? Just getting old. We'll still take your... I'm gonna have a drink of water, hang on. No, you got me fair and square. Give you back your coin. Look at Mello's face, he's so angry. <laughs> Whoa, did you really believe me? I was lying. Boss battle time. So yeah, you want to spam fireball, basically. Uh, that's his weakness. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, interesting. So this is what happens in the original game. His tail catches fire, and that, like, stuns him because he's putting out his tail fire. But you don't see the fire. Uh, it just says Crocker is dowsing in tail fire. He doesn't have an animation for it in the original. This is better. <laughs> Burn 14 health. Weak to fire, fear, poison, and mute. But I think we only have fire. Gosh, I'm good. <laughs> Crocker is dowsing in tail fire. Yeah, it does that. Uh, but you don't see the fire in the original game. Uh, that's been added. It's kind of weird if you think about it. You didn't, didn't see it in the original. We had Mushroom, it just heals him, right? Yeah, he can heal. Just once. Give back my coin or I'll belt you again. Bump. Yeah, it's just a frog coin. We found a bunch of those, but you need the specific one for the quest. I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kid. Go on, take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. Alright, we got it back. You got a flower tab. Yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's coin back. Finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. The crocodile left a wallet. Found a wallet. Come back to the Mushroom Kingdom's item shop. If you want to join me, we can use the map to go to the Mushroom Kingdom together. Oh, right, the map. In the original game, uh, to get out of Bandit's way, like, a spring just randomly falls from the sky uh, after you beat Croco. Uh, but in this game, you have a fast travel map, so you don't need that. <laughs> you can just do this. <laughs> uh, when you get there, um, things are a bit different. Something seems to have changed, just a little bit. I, I, I don't know what, but it just seems doesn't quite seem the same. Please give work amount of money for the items. Manager. Uh, I don't think there's anything new. Yeah, just the stuff we already had. Try more. These guys were called shysters in the original game. I'm not sure why they would have changed that, but apparently they did. Oh, ah. mm. I do want to know their thoughts, but let's see. Yeah, poison mute sleep. Boing, boing, boing. If I recall, these guys are really weak to thunder. Um, it's not one of their, like, weak elemental weaknesses, but they don't have a whole lot of health and they are weak to magic. Uh, so if you can hit all of them with thunderbolt, then you can do a decent amount of damage really quick. Like that. Thanks, Mario. Can you just stand and watch? But now everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. The coins. So yeah, you can run around and help people who are being attacked by the... Gymors? They were definitely called Shysters in the original. I don't know why they changed that. Um, but you don't have to. Uh, you do get rewards for doing it, but you can just go right to the castle, which is where we need to go next. But, uh... And yeah, they're pretty resistant to physical. 
Uh, Mario has pretty good attacks, so he's, he's piercing that, but Mallow doesn't. Um, you're supposed to use magic against these guys. That was too darn close. Thanks for the hand, Mario. Here's the wallet the crocodile swiped for me. Can I have it back? <laughs> you can keep it and sell it if you want, but I'm going to give it back. Thank you so much. Ooh, this is a reward. Go on now. Take it. Got a flower tab. Yeah, flower tabs are worth it. I want to play outside. Yeah, we're outside. So let's play indoors, all right? So nice to see our young ones having a good time. I think your line didn't change, and it probably should have. <laughs> Me and I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm still wondering about the item shop. A basement having like a item indicator for a hidden treasure. Maybe I just didn't jump in the right spot. Well, you know, maybe there isn't actually another hidden treasure in here and it's talking about the one I already got. <sighs> I don't know. Actually, a good way to test that would be to go back to the castle, because I got the hidden chest in that room uh, already. I think that womp noise when it hits the building is new. That's cool. Getting the action commands right basically just makes you super powered in this game. Wasn't really the case in the original, which is interesting. That whole mechanic is completely new. The, the chaining and the bar that fills up, even if you're not using the bar, you're still getting stat boosts from like chaining together good action commands. Uh, level 5, we want more magic. Please. Okay, 4 points, 3 points, 2 points, yeah. Mario takes his hat off in this game for his victory pose. I don't I don't like it. In the original game he does like a little spin and then he puts up his hand like this. Uh, which I like better. Um, the way he did sort of doffs his hat, it, it's not working for me as much. It, it's a shame because it isn't really that different, but I don't like it as much. <laughs> Alright, these guys are very scared because their house has uh Shysters in it. Or Shy Moors. Like, I get that Shysters, like, it means con man or whatever, but these are, these are the bad guys. We're fighting them. It's okay to call them something a little bit insulting. <laughs> right? It's, it's not a slur or anything, as far as I know. what it is that causes the shockwave to only happen sometimes. Like, I always want it, I still know what activates it. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. I got my son upstairs. Oops, forgot all about, all about him. I forgot I had a son. <laughs> oh no. My little brother's okay. I only worried about my son. He's just having a good time bouncing. Boing, boing, boing. Now this guy can jump. Dead.
I think so, I'm not sure what it is that makes you sometimes get the shockwave. It might be like a chain number or something. Maybe? Really, thank you so much for everything. Here's a little token of our appreciation. Another flower tab. You're gonna grow up to be just like Mario, you hear? Yeah! This still work? I think I might not actually. Hang on. Let's look down a bit. Yep, sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can just stand on toads in this game. I guess we'll jump the highest. Uh, and when you stand on toads, some strange things can happen. And these designs are looking pretty much like they did in the original game, just, you know, as little 3D models, so I'm pretty impressed. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll help you with that, ma'am. Uh, I'll, I'll kill that thing that's impressing you. Hmm, Shockwave at Chainlink 21? I don't know. That's how I got the, sh the the wave again. It feels a lot more random than I'm used to the, used to this game being. And now you go back to just doing that. You you didn't care. <laughs> uh, I forget if the inn had anyone in it. Okay, the inn looks pretty normal. When those kids have those things outside, are they part of this? Yeah, kinda. Damn, wide awake. Now it's time for me to win big cash. If you say so. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to finish the whole, like, first chapter of the game by beating the boss inside the castle. Um, and I think that's a good show of how it's changed. That was really scary. Everyone's hiding in the princess's bedroom. I and some others couldn't escape in time. No one got hurt. I think this might be a second chance to get that. Um, if you jump on that enemy, you'll fight them, but if you run from the battle and jump on them again while you're while you're like immune to battle, you can use them as a stepping platform, stepping stool. At least that worked in the original game, I don't know if it worked on this one. That wasn't an exploit you could use to get to certain areas that you weren't supposed to much earlier than was intended. Pretty neat. I'm not getting any splash effect. What's going on? What am I doing wrong? Also, why aren't they attacking? I'm not complaining, but it's it's a bit weird. There we go. Hello, level up. Uh, I think it's five, which is magic. <laughs> Where is little dance? <laughs> yeah, go with that one. That vault guard. I come here to save him. He runs into the next room. Well, so much for him. So the vault is now unguarded, this is the only other time in the game we can get in here, besides that first part where they invite you. We can take the same three items again, but they'll be like fresh ones, so that's another flower. It's worth doing, um, but also you are kind of robbing them because they didn't give permission to do that. Never mind that, guess what I found? It's a gold coin! Gold coin, it's all mine! Oh, I found this in the cellar. Here, you can have it. What a wake-up pin. 
I guard the vault, no one takes our treasure. Except Mario. Who always takes our treasure. Also, uh, this room does have a, a hidden block up there and it's not triggering my signal ring, so that means there is another one in that other room. I just don't know where. Too scared to pass by them. I'll help you. by Mario again. I never thank you enough. <laughs> Just uh, edge my way along the side there. <laughs> Not so fast, pal. Look at him, can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head. Oh, interesting. It splashed, but it missed. And that could happen. Played by Mario again. How can I ever thank you enough? You're in One Piece. Damn, you're in One Piece. I don't remember you being in One Piece. <laughs> Played by Mario again. Thank you enough. Oh no, the chancel's still in the throne room. What? That's terrible. With Mario around, just we're safe, right? No, I wouldn't be so sure. You bet. <laughs> there we go. Hey, hang on for a sec, okay? Please take this. The prince will be happy to know you have something of hers. It's a flower tab. Dead. You may not sleep at the princess's bed. Have you no manners? <laughs> yeah, um, you can heal here by asking to sleep in the bed and being told you're not allowed. <laughs> it's a bit silly. Uh, I'm gonna use these flower tabs. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna check down the save as well. And then we're gonna fight the boss. A disadvantage to fighting some of these guys on the way. We can just go heal if we do use up our resources. Getting a little bit, little bit more coin and experience. Not a lot. This game is not that generous, but. We have completely full resources now, so we may as well just go in and do it. Boss fight time! Um, so, where do you think everyone went? Well then, so we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce all around all day long when there's no one here who can stand in our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away! In, um, the original game, there's a way to skip this entire boss battle. Uh, by lining yourself up on this side and jumping in the right spots. Uh... I'm guessing they changed that because I didn't jump just then. Mario automatically jumped into place. 
Clay Morton? Your name's Clay Morton? Okay, in the original game, this character's name is Mac. As in, Mac the Knife. Why is he called Clay Morton? <laughs> Are we happy about this? We're asking for it. Oh, you're gonna get it. Pick the wrong people not to bounce with, bub. How about a fat-lipped girl with ugly mustache? Why do they keep renaming characters? This is so weird. Uh, alright, um... I'm gonna do a little bit of a thought peek on... Clay Morton? Quick to lightning. Boing boing boing. Is these bodyguards kind of a different kind of enemy? Flame wall can't block. Okay, the game actually tells you that in this game. In the original, it didn't do that. Um, it would just say like flame wall or whatever, and then you just get hit, and you're like, oh, I got hit. <laughs> I'm gonna flame pick these guys. I'm oh, sorry, thought pick these guys as well because they seem to be separate enemies to the other shysters. They say the same thing though. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna find the bolt. Okay, you can block with the Y button, by the way, I did it by accident, so you don't have to press A specifically. yet, but now I have. Get a freebie. That means it didn't consume the item. It's just kind of a random thing that happens when you use an item. It might You might get it for free. Oh yeah, we did that. Um... Flame wall, just can't block it. Experience and coins, and that's the first boss beaten. Not good. Not good. Mustachioed one is strong. Strong, yes. You must warn the boss. Come on. Gracious. Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who are those? Chancellor. Oh, thank goodness you're alright. Mario, so it was you who got us to all of this. You so much to you. First the princess and now this. It's just too much to bear. Mario, I we asked my grandpa for help. He knows everything. Excuse me, but... Are you? Oh, hello. My name's Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. 
Well, any friend of Mario is welcome here in the Mushroom Kingdom. I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mario, please, you must rescue the princess. Now! Mario, I'm in your debt too. Let's head over to Grandpa's place in Tadball Pond. You can help! Wait, why did I even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? I guess I'll find out soon enough. Did Clay Morton, the swords-like monster who crashed into the Mushroom Kingdom? He was called Mac. Why did he change his name? I don't get it. <laughs> Anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? I hear as move on towards the Kiro sewers. Well, like I understand that a claymore is a type of sword, but I, I, I don't, I don't know why you felt the need to change it at all. It was fine the way it was. <laughs> I'm just very confused. Okay, uh, we want to go to the item shop. <sighs> hey Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Hey mister, I got my coin back. Oh, well done lad. Okay, here's the thing I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? But a cricket pie. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. He loves to eat crickets because he's a frog. For some reason, even though I'm a frog, I don't like crickets. I guess there is another treasure somewhere in this room. Um, yeah. I may look it up. <laughs> it's gonna bug me if I don't. Look in the future. Back here? Oh, and you go over here. Get over here. You jump in this corner with the toad, like, holding you up. I push you the right way? Kinda. There we go. This way. This way. Cool. Okay, job done. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you sell now? I don't think so. I think it's the same stuff. Yeah, we already have. We don't need that. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, that's um, pretty much the first chapter finished. You can see I've got one uh, of the star pieces at the bottom there. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom region. Oh, I see. Tadpole Pond region, Kirisu is. But these are the same, like, region splits the original game used. Um, except that Vista Hill was on a different map to Mario's pad, but that doesn't really make a big difference. Uh, but you can fast travel to anywhere you've already been with them now, which is quite nice. Bye. Okay, um... We're gonna wrap it up here. Um, so yeah, this is Super Mario RPG on the Switch. It's really pretty. Uh, this game looks absolutely gorgeous. Um... It's playing mostly the same. Um... I feel like some of the added mechanics are maybe making it a little too easy. Uh, and I'm playing on, like, the more difficult difficulty. I I'm playing on normal, I'm not playing on, like, breezy difficulty. Uh, so... I feel like it shouldn't be quite so easy, like, to bu get a huge attack buff that blows up everything. Uh, especially with the boost gauge thing that essentially cheats the entire, like, Tutorial boss battle. <laughs> um, I'm also weirded out by the name changes. Like, I, I don't think they were bad names before. If, 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 like, they were offensive and I just don't get it somehow, please let me know. But as far as I know, they're not. Um, so I don't know why they would need to change. Um, it just seems a bit strange to me. Uh... Having, like, quick access to items and stuff is really nice. Um, because, yeah, they would normally be, you go into the menu and you find them, but the fact that you can just tap one button and do it is great. The fast travel thing is great. Um, I'm just, I'm just having a little think here. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think I like the combat being easier, even on the non-easy difficulty this game offers. Um, because this game is already pretty easy as RPGs go. Um, and people have, like, come up with challenges, like, only have a single one of your party members attack type challenges. Only have Mario attack when more people show up, they can only use the defend command, that kind of thing. Um, but... But then, then it's even easier than that in this version with this extra, like, chaining action commands to get a boost thing. Uh, which just seems a bit strange to me. I, I don't know why you'd want to make this particular game that much easier uh, on the, like, relatively hard difficulty setting of the two. Uh, I understand having boosts like that when you're playing on, like, an easy difficulty. I, I might switch it over and just have a look at what effects that has in the on the battle, battle mechanics real quick. Uh... I just make it breezy, and then I go, uh, let's say back to Bandit's Way. And just fight something. I should be able to have a look and see how the battles work and see if it's different. Yeah, I think I just buff my damage by, like, a lot. <laughs> That's the impression I'm getting anyway. Um, let's try not doing action command and see what happens. Okay. And Mallow does a lot more damage than he otherwise would. It might make the dodge window a bit bigger as well, I'm not sure. Not, like, obviously it's gonna make the battles easier, but I'm just not sure how it makes the battles easier. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, it might be to do with the item limits? Hang on, let's have a look. Oh yeah, these, these limits are bigger. It's 30, 30, 30. They might all be 30. Oh, we're supposed to tell us hey about a power. Um, I think my stats are about the same. It, it might be mostly to do with the carry limit being different. Uh, but that wouldn't really help with a lot of stuff in battles, so... I don't know. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I think the main thing that's bothering me about this game is that it feels very easy. Um... Compared to the original, which was already a pretty easy game. Um... To be fair, this is the first dungeon. Or first boss encounter. It's not really a dungeon, it's a shrimp painted parcel, but like this is the very beginning of the game. I've only done a couple of bosses and stuff, but And the Hammer Bros are normally pretty easy. Uh but like the fact that I did nothing to defeat the Hammer Bros. Uh and then like fighting fighting Mac 2.0 or whatever just kinda happened. Um I don't know. Um, like I did, I did. Like I had a, a full boost bar, and I didn't use the boost because I wanted to fight normally. Um, but you can sort of sandbag it like that because it's not a, a required mechanic. But the chaining thing is a required mechanic, uh, and that's also giving you buffs to your stats, as far as I can tell. So <sighs> I, I'm a little torn. <laughs> I'll probably play this a little more off camera and see if it gets as challenging as I feel like the game ought to get later on. Um, like, it's never a hard, hard game, but obviously, like, after the first chapter, things get a bit more challenging, you get some tougher bosses, and you have to, like, plan things out a bit more. So I'll have a, I'll, I'll play a bit more off-camera, see how I feel, and maybe talk about that in the description, uh, based on how I feel. Uh, but the visuals, really nice. The controls, really nice. Um, the music, like, I'm, I'm set to modern, and, like, I never really got one earphone on because I'm talking, uh, but, like, it sounds like Super Mario RPG, uh, but it doesn't quite have the chiptune feel, uh, because, of course, it's, like, a modern remix or whatever, but it sounds good. It's, it fits. It sounds right for this game, uh, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm not sure why they took the subtitle out, because the original game was called Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, 
And like the fact that there are seven stars is still spoiled for you in multiple places in this game. Uh, like here, for example, you can look at the little thing at the bottom of the menu and see that there is seven little slots there. Um, so I don't know why they would need to rename it. It doesn't seem necessary. Um, also, some of the cutscenes just don't make sense to be presented the way they are, given this game isn't voice acted. I think the game needs voice acting. I think it's good the way it is. Uh, but having like a cutscene where Mallow is talking and his lips are moving and stuff with a subtitle and no voice feels so weird. Um, even if you made him like make little banjo kazooie sort of noises, that would be fine too. Uh, but having no sound at all for the fact that he's talking just feels wrong. <laughs> also, I, I don't like Mario's hat at off victory animation uh, compared to his like twirl and then put his fingers up like this thing from the original game, which I really loved. Um, I just don't think it has the same punch. That's an incredibly minor thing. Overall, the only like, like the biggest issue I'm having with this version of the game is that whole chaining mechanic that boosts up your stats as you play and gives you a bar that just vaporizes enemies and things like that. Um, this game was already pretty easy, and that's making it even easier. Um, and like, I don't mind those being in the game, but there's no way to turn them off. Um, because I'm already on the higher difficulty setting. And I've looked at all the settings and there isn't one to turn that stuff off. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I have complicated feelings about this game. Um, the presentation is incredible, though. It looks really good. Uh, and it controls really well, like, with one of these on a modern system. And uh, it sounds spot on. Like, they've remixed everything, but it sounds the way it should. It feels like I'm playing Super Mario RPG when I'm listening to it, which is what I should feel, because that's what I'm playing. <laughs> um... It's just, it's just the way they've adjusted the combat to make it even easier, basically. Um, which I'm not sure about. <laughs> and, like, you know, I, I could implement some sort of challenge run. Like, you know, I am not allowed to chain, I have to fuck up eat, eat every other action command or something and see what happens. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna play the game a bit more off camera, see how I feel about it and make a decision based on how it progresses and whether it becomes more of a challenge uh, than in the early game. Because the early game is really, really easy. <laughs> Especially that one that one boss battle that I wanted to do, but also I wanted to see what the gauge thing did, and it just vaporized the whole boss instantly. <laughs> like, it, you shouldn't have a mechanic like that if you want people to have boss battles that are engaging and complicated and stuff. If it only hit one enemy maybe and then I had to actually like whittle down the other one with jumps and stuff, that that would be okay, but it just it just took them both out instantly. <laughs> uh Yeah, um so yeah, that's Super Mario RPG for the Switch. Um I, I, I like most of the changes to the mechanics actually. I really like the fast travel. Uh and I like this the the, like, the way the monster is like tracks the thoughts you've heard from enemies. Like, you can see it's ticked off Goomba here. And I can hit Sword Peak and see what they were thinking. Uh, and I assume... Yeah, something I haven't I haven't seen the thought of yet isn't ticked off. And yeah, you can look up things like weaknesses, enemies that you've done a Thought Peak on. I haven't done for these ones. But a Frog Rock I have, so I can see their weaknesses and elements and statuses. And I have a Thought Peak button that I can press. Yeah, this, this is nice. Um, there was a similar thing in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I forget the name exactly, Tattlelog or something? Uh, but you could look up, like, the information you'd seen about enemies you'd already fought. I guess these are... separate... oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know about some of the changes to names. It doesn't seem necessary. 
but the descriptions here are very funny, so <laughs> I'm appreciating that. Yeah, yeah, t renaming a lot of stuff feels a bit weird. I am enjoying that this thing gives me some hints about stuff and where to go next. Uh, and the little flag on the world map and the fast travel is nice. Um, I don't know why this bit can't say pipe house. It can say pipe house. The house with a pipe in the ceiling. It's pipe house. <laughs> um, probably the way the inventory works makes more sense, really. That you have, like, per item carry limits rather than you get a fixed number of items total. Like, that was a bit weird uh, in the original game, and this probably makes more sense. Uh, although, uh, having a fixed number of items total is how Paper Mario works as well. You get 10 item slots, and they can have anything in them. Uh, but Paper Mario had a very different item system to Super Mario RPG in the first place, so it made more sense that way, so... Maybe it's fine like this. Ugh, my throat's kind of hurting from all this talking. <laughs> but yeah, um... I am liking nearly everything about this extremely, extremely a lot. <laughs> I don't like Mario's little victory pose, it takes the hat off, it doesn't, it doesn't have the right feel to me. Uh, the changed enemy names are weirding me out. <laughs> we'll see if, that, if that's a trend that continues, I guess, because, like, I've only done Chapter 1, there might be more that more enemies have been renamed later. But, like, the ones I've seen so far, there's been a few names that are different, and it struck me as odd, so... <sighs> but yeah, the, the main thing that I'm really worried about is the game having too many mechanics to sort of trivialize itself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep playing and I'll see how I feel about it and whether it gets hard enough later. Um, it's also possible, like unlikely given Nintendo to tend to do this kind of thing, but they might add another select difficulty setting that actually does turn off things like the chaining into a gauge thing that insta-kills every enemy option. You never know. Um, they might. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about all I've got, really. Um, I'm just gonna keep checking the rest of this game out off camera and see how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, that's chapter one. Uh, and I've talked about how I feel about it in a lot of detail already. So let me just, uh, end the video here before I keep rambling on. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hope if you've played Mario RPG before, this gives you an idea of what the Switch version is like and how it's changed and helps you make a purchasing decision, I guess. Uh, and if you hadn't played it before and this looks like fun, like, go for it. Um, you're probably going to have a really good time with it if you enjoy RPGs, even if you're not familiar with the old one, which not familiar with the old one like I am, and you might enjoy it more because you're not expecting things to be different. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs> oh my goodness.